Well, I have a distinct uh, experience in that. When I worked for Commissioner Patty Sheehan, we dealt with that head on. And we, we drafted the, the current ordinance that's in place in terms of no feeding in the, in the park without two permits a year. Um, and it was within a five mile radius of City Hall. Um, that, that ordinance was challenged in court. It lost in the lower, court, lower district court. Uh, upon appeal, the city was successful in making sure that that, that ordinance was constitutional. Well, while homelessness is a, a, a very big issue, I think for our continued support of the Central Florida Regional Commission on Homelessness is vital because that's not only the city of Orlando, the city of Orlando is the only funding partner for that, that coalition. There are three counties in the city of Orlando that are part of that regional co commission on homelessness, and we're the only one that's a funding partner. We need to make sure that that continues, and we need to put this pressure on our partners to make sure that they're supporting that as well. Thank you very much. Um, I happen just to, um, like I said earlier, release a press release on this issue today regarding homelessness. First of all, when the city came out and tried to stop people from being fed, at Lake Eola, I was appalled, and I say that here publicly, and it is not a city or a county responsibility to make sure everyone has food in their mouth. It is a moral responsibility. So if there are people that need to eat, we will make sure there is an opportunity. So as a city councilman, I will sit there and tell you, I will not turn my back on the homeless. I will make sure that if there's the opportunity exists to make sure that everyone eats, that they will. I drove through downtown Orlando down Roslyn Avenue just a few mornings ago and I saw many, many homeless people camped out on church steps and uh, by the way, I also saw the Sheriff's Department uh, gathering and grouping to evict the Occupy Orlando group and uh, I thought about sticking around and watching but I figured I'd better get out of the area pretty quickly. Uh, the homeless issues in Orlando, we have already addressed, we will continue to address not everybody wants, not every homeless person wants to take advantage of the things that we offer them. Uh, I would like to speak about feeding people in Lake Yola Park since that was brought up. I, I have to respectfully disagree with Randy. Um, I believe that there is a place for this. There is a venue for feeding homeless people, but it does not have to be right in one of the city's landmark major parks. Thanks, Steve. Uh, I'll be the first to admit I probably need to do a little more uh, homework on this one, but, but I've worked downtown for, for 30 years, uh, and, and it seems to me you see a lot of the same faces year after year. I, I'm all about helping people in the short term get back on their feet and get recovered, and, and look, extraordinary things happen to people, I understand that. Um, I, I think that the issue needs to be, or that, that, that needs more research is, where do you draw the line between helping people in the short term get, get rehabilitated and back on their feet, and, and something that turns into a, a consistent um, need over and over? And so I'm going to yield a little bit. I don't know as much about this as I should. I'll do some research and find out. Uh, but, but that seems to me to be the issue, that the amount of information that's shared seems to be pretty polarized, depending on which camp you're in, and I'm not sure we have details about